Okay, so let's turn and yeah, kill these guys. You should not be yeah, I mean standing still ever. Because I'm on target and I'm very close to that magazine of yours. I'm moving. See this one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Navy Father. We are going to continue with our 5.0 lineup of the German Tech 3 series. And I bring you today some gameplay on this awesome destroyer, the Z43. If you want to see a more in depth review, of this ship, just click the link at the top right of the screen and use the chapters provided to jump to the Z43. So today we have gameplay of the Z43, which is just another destroyer, so the usual considerations apply here, like avoid the, the cruiser spoon, control the capsules of the PT boats for the win, use cover, Use your high rate of fire, remember to use your top, don't get focused, remember you are, you've got no armor, things like that. Will get you good results, and trust me, you will fall in love with these German DDs as much as I did. In my honest opinion, these DDs are very strong, and with the USN, one of the best destroyers in game at the moment. And with that said, let's check the stats of this beauty. So, 3.9 kill to death ratio with 95 kills and 24 deaths in 43 battles. That is a bit over 2 kills per battle, 0.5 deaths per battle, and a win rate of 69%. For a 4.7 ship, a destroyer which is played at 5.0, which means you can get cruisers of up to you know, 6.0. So I think it's really good. And it shows the capabilities and the good all-around use of this uh, destroyer. In the, uh, it doesn't have many kills of aircraft because, as I said, you are going to spawn with this ship first or as a second or third spawn. So you're not going to see those many planes. Also, at 5.0, you start to see a decline on planes because they're anti-air gets uh, it starts to get more serious and HVT spam is starts to get yeah ludicrous all in all I think it shows a good performance and we are gonna see that in the gameplay which we are gonna just jump right into it so for our first very first clip we have here is a bunch of bots and yeah what we are doing is uh, we are not gonna go in first and let the bots do their damage what we are gonna do is let the bots go forward and let the enemy team kill them and then i'll jump in and then i'll kill whatever is left for me to kill kind of in a you know food chain or pyramid sort of Shots being fired, so yeah, that means that the party is about to start, and yeah, we I mean, I expect them to come from there and to start firing on the two more fed bots that we have at the right. So, yeah, there they are. Just, oh, we have one friend here. That is a player, definitely. There is no way I capable of, you know, sail through those straits without getting entangled. We just sent a couple, couple torps there. See what we get. There's one. Okay, let's go in. Check our surroundings, always. Keep it up! 
There's one, see if we can get at least the back to it. our friend Ooh, we nearly got uh, we got hit there but anyway so this this is slowing down we want to shoot at the back two reds because that's where the ammo is more accessible so yeah we stop as well and we are trying to those look good and yeah there you go that's the first skill here we've got a that's a player the one in front of him is a bot as you can see so we are trying to get the player not much luck there let's see if we can throw a few times there a nicer spread and try and get this guy because does look good. What? Oh, that was so close. Yes, we have another target here. This guy is a bot. So, yeah, let's kill him as quickly as possible. There we go. Shoot him at the back because he's got ready to use some more that is not spent. And as you can see, it goes boom. This is our friend from before, the first kill that we got, and we are going to try and get this guy out of the equation. Those look good. Oh, a bit short. Come on, he's almost on yellow. And that's it. Uh, he's uh, another player. got a couple kills there in a nice succession and yeah we are on the top list of the, the team and now it looks like it's a good moment to just close in and get the cap let's try and get and shoot some HE to this guy try and dissuade him from bombing us and yeah we are being shot at And now focus on this guy, which is our friend, the Porter. Oh, that's a good hit. And some good damage control there. And aim for the Pactilics. Does look good. Okay, let's control this fire. And repair. Get in, get the cap, and keep pushing our advantage. I'm sorry, Mr. Orejon, because I'm leaving you alone there, the, the Douglas player. Because we need to cap, and he's, uh, I've left him just alone with the Porter player there, so he's pretty much dead. Yeah, there you go. Try and finish this. Almost look good. We need to correct a bit and get the back to it. Come on. Nice detonation. And let's we'll see if we can. Yes, there we go. That's another one. We've got the cap now, and the game is looking pretty much over as it is now. It seems like we're gonna get A as well. We just need to defend this point. Okay, so it looks like this is the same guy again. So, uh, it's not our front roots. Just throw a nice spread of torps in there and try and make his life a little bit difficult with us accelerating a little bit and turning while we repair. Uh, 
one of the guns is uh, offline, so we need to press the R advantage. Looking good. Let's keep on turning. And focus on the gunnery right now. That's where I got it close. Just like that to keep his guns offline and he's turning to give me a nice predictable turn to shoot at his back to reds and he needs to turn them all all the way to me so yeah not the best play there man. let's finish him off and he got torped <laughs> He catched one of the turfs that we that we sent before. <laughs> so yeah, the game is pretty much over now. We just need to, to defend the, the C cup and see if our teammates want to get the A point, which they don't seem very interested in. Here's our friend again, it looks like he wants to go for the revenge guild on us. But we have a bot friend here with HGBT, so it's not gonna be easy. He's turning, and yeah, he's gonna use the icebergs as cover, so yeah, well played that. We are in a good position, so we don't want to go uh, too far ahead because that would make us an easy target because we could not manoeuvre in that straight. So that's why we want to stay here and just accelerate whenever he's close, which is which he is right now. So let's get some HE loaded and start accelerating. Let's see where he is. It looks like he went for the for the Mofat player. That's a bad play on his part because I with just the one bomb I'll be dead. He used uh, rockets and bombs on that Mofat and he couldn't even get the kill. While I was at 16% crew left and with just the one hit I would be surely be, be dead and he could have got at least one kill. So for our second game, we have the typical game where you have a, you capture a point with a pity boat and then have a nice bomb run, and then you spawn on this nice DD and find that there's a heavy cruiser heading towards B. So we need to react to that. There's no, there's no other thing to do right now. We need to take this guy out, and we need to, we need to do it. Good news, are uh, is not doing very well. He's 53% of crew left and 14, 16% of buoyancy. So he's nearly sunk, but he's clearly um, doing a, a good job with the uh, damage control, and he's regaining some of the um, buoyancy back. So yeah, we need to. We are trying to focus on his crew, trying to damage some compartments while he is still repairing his front turret. Got a few good hits there and he's returning fire now with both front turrets so we need to deal with those. We need to try and knock them out. We don't target now. I don't think we can penetrate them from the front, but we can penetrate the bar bed of the, the second turret.
Our teammate is stunned, so it's just us now. He's 29%. Still on fire and taking on water. He's slowly repairing though. See if I can get some torps on him. I'm not sure if I got the bridge there. Anyway, let's try and keep on working on his crew. Let's uh, shoot one torp a little bit more to the front. Like so, because he's turning too quick, and yeah, those stops are gonna, are not gonna hit. Ah, uh, it's looking good, and I'm not looking that good. I need that torpedo to hit, otherwise I'm toast. And yeah. <laughs> he's down now, he's 5% of crew left, so he, he doesn't have enough crew. As I don't have enough crew to repair, so he's going down. And yeah, there we go. Mission accomplished. He is down and he's not gonna take the B points. And that pretty much secured our team the win. Let's see if we can get we can do some damage before before we go down. Let's see what that is. That's uh Susuya, so uh, well in the end the Northampton guy gets the the, the well deserved kill.
Oh, okay, welcome back to our last game of the video. This is a, a another very close game, let me just say. And um, yeah, we choose to uh, we choose to spawn with the Z43 first because in this map, in my opinion, the snail boat is not the best option. You can do it, but I prefer spawning in this map with. Uh, pity boats that are kind of smaller because I like to go to the B point here and normally you have other ships that are taking positions around B and if you are not a very small pity boat you are gonna be they're gonna find you and they're gonna shoot you so yeah that's why I just went with the set 43 but um, bear in mind that you can still like play the uh, snail boat here and do it to great effect. You can also go to A, but um, yeah, I mean, it depends on how many destroyers do a spawn. I would go in a 5.7 game. I would go with a snail boat to the to the A point surely, but not not at a 5.0 where there's gonna be more DDs than cruisers. Let's say. So yeah, here we are wasting so much ammo on this uh, little guy here and I just don't ask me why, but there uh, is what's going on. <laughs> Let me, well, I hope you enjoyed that um, those, that kill compilation of uh, before, I, I loved it and um, yeah, he uh, remembers me how much I enjoy the destroyer gameplay in this game in my opinion it is the best gameplay so far but anyway here we are gonna jump now we're going back to normal speed and we're gonna see this engagement with the spokoini because I'm, I'm just i give up with the and with the sky uh, SKA or whatever you call it from like nine kilometers away or something like that it's just it was just not happening so yeah let's just jump on this Pukoini which is pretty much done it's like 30% crew left so we just need a couple of good salvos on him and we will KS him <laughs> sorry but um, yeah looks like the, yeah, that's what happened whoop there was glitch sorry about that so yeah there you go kill secured <laughs> but yeah we have uh, a teammate around very close to B and another two teammates closing in to A this Eskaya is uh, very close now and he's getting dangerously close to the A point. He's 26% crew left though, so he's he's done. It's just a matter of uh, getting a good a good salvo in. But it's not happening. I'm also shooting HE because I don't want to waste so much as uh, fused HE on him because that's our main killing shell but this guy just refuses to die anyway he's as he went in on the A cap we we got the kill he was a bot and we get rammed by another bot so yeah great <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna speed this up a bit while well, we tow our friend here, the exploiter, <laughs> we're um, back to the back to the game, and we're just gonna put him into the back in track. So yeah, we could see there before that there are a few ships closing in to be, but. Um, yeah, so I'm fast forwarding. I'm not sure that you were able to see that, but yeah, that's what that's what's happening. And then we have our 
our teammate here just in front of us opening fire as well so I assume there's an enemy nearby and I think that's a bot as well so yeah we'll see what happens anyway I love bots so we have a porter and he has his back to it looking at the wrong side don't know why but we're gonna use that to our advantage and his back ammo is already on red that looks good okay we got a fire and yeah it's just a matter of time and there you go we got the crew yeah that's the, the third kill that's um i don't want to i don't want to deal with this um i shouldn't be launching a spread there but um i mean that helena or brooklyn whatever that was is too far away for that spread of torpedoes to to reach him the thing is the big cap is inside our range so if he decides to go inside B he's gonna have to deal with those storms but yeah there's a few cruisers coming in there's the, this Prince Sweden which is uh, yeah, shooting at the destroyers at B so I'm not complaining it's 50% of crew left we have uh, received a few a few shots from the Helena that is going to be so okay, we need to to wiggle a bit <laughs> we need to make, to make a few few turns because this guy here is on us that's a uh, Helena yeah So at least we've got the A point, so we are winning on tickets for now. And the good news is that this guy also, the, the Helena player, is not going in to B, so that's a bad play in my opinion. Because he's just playing for the kills, he's not playing for the win. But again, I'm not complaining. <laughs> And we are going to be very, very soon on the cover because we are going to reach the island. So yeah, we've got a few hits there, but nothing, nothing major. And yeah, that's uh, that's a worry inside. The good thing is like he's got a big, massive cloud of smoke coming out of him. So I think our teammates are dealing, have done a good job dealing with him. Because this, uh, I, I think that's a kern, not too sure, but uh, yeah, he's pretty much uh, toast. There's 5% crew left, he's got a fire, he, he can't repair that, I'm sure. It's just a matter of time, and yeah, we, again, we kill secure that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now we have an uh, enemy notepad. I have respawn and we encountered our dear friend the bot he rams us for the second time this game so appreciate that thanks guy thanks Gaijin for not dealing with this problem but yeah so anyway let's get back in range and start shooting this guy and just take a look at the ammo we are kind of very low considering that we are not like even mid game but um, yeah let's not think about that we are very much in target and I don't know why but one of the uh, yeah a couple a couple ammo racks there are yellow so it's just a matter of uh, RNG uh, Jesus smiling at us and he in the end he does it and again we have another cruiser coming in 
and that is very worrying so we need to we need to send a spread for him and it seems like it looks like he's reacting to this so even though he's not shooting actively at us he's watching so well I think he just now nah, I think he, he went with the smoke screen and he's just backing up to get inside because he's 30% 30, 30 crew left and he's on fire so it's not doing very well but um, again at this point I think he should turn and use his firepower to deal with us because we have uh, the rate of fire advantage here and uh, he's not using his um, his gunnery, his advantage onto us but um, yeah again I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining I'm just saying what I would do if I was the Prince of the Empire and uh, I'm getting good hits and I'm doing every now and then I get a few a few crew members let's see if I can damage the back there there you go that was a good hit there and we get the kill so that's uh, yeah 4.7 ship <laughs> against the 5.7 and this is this is our end guys this is a tiger high rate of fire cruiser british one and he doesn't have many targets to deal with so he's going to be very shortly he's going to be with us but uh, we're going to anticipate him we are launching a few tops his way I don't think those are going to be on target because he will be changing curse very soon we are out of ammo at this point and we need to save those um, those semi armor piercing shells for when at this distance I think I can pen but uh, I'm not too sure I'm I'm gonna keep on shooting and then see what happens. I'm going for the back now. I want to. I want to. I want to hurt his crew. We have another two torps, so let's spread this a bit to increase our chances to hit uh, this tiger, which is shooting to the to the bot. That is, yeah, he's he's done now. Thanks for killing him and we are, as you can see, we are, we are completely out of ammo. And there's just one turret firing. And we are going to change to the semi armor piece because this is our end and we are going to just spend this now. And yeah, just pray for the best. Oh, we got a nice hit there. That was very, very lucky. And yeah, that disabled the, the main the main turret. So yeah, he's just shooting with the secondaries. So that 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 gave us a little bit more time. We have another two torpedoes here. He's taking on water. He's 38 percent crew left. So it's, uh, it's amazing that we managed to do this. That we managed to see ourselves in this situation. But uh, I don't think it's gonna. It's gonna matter much because I'm 30% cool left and then as soon as he repairs his main gun um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be done. Let's see if we can get the bridge and try and get him uh, on a very predictable path so we can try and get increase our chances of a torpedo hit but uh, yeah um, that will be very very lucky. We'll see. We have another two torps. Nearly. Come on. One there with the target prediction and the other one halfway just in case he turns. And yeah, that's the secondaries. And I should be. I should be shooting at his um, 
at his back to see if I can get some compartments and damage his crew, but um, yeah, I don't have any, any ammo left and uh, yeah, we, we done, we did our best, we got a few cruisers there, a few, a few destroyers as well, so I think that was a pretty awesome one, but um, yeah, thanks for watching.